But what else? I mean, we might check late, the latest data from the Microgeneration Certification Scheme. They're the organisation that certifies a lot of the domestic renewable energy installations in the UK. And this month, they registered their the 300,000th air source heat pump in, installed through their scheme. Obviously, 300,000 homes this this winter will be much colder with much more significant costs because heat pumps clearly don't work. Hmm. But they also say that over 5,000 heat pumps were installed in, the, in seven of the 11 months so far this year, and a total of nearly 60,000 for the year so far. And if we do some Tom maths, and we assume that average home uses around 12,000 kilowatt hours of gas, homes around the UK could now be using 3,600 gigawatt hours less gas because of those heat pumps, powered by a mix of renewables, nuclear power, interconnectors from abroad, as well as gas power stations. And that, that, that mix of, of generation sources means that we'll be using a significant amount less gas in the UK than, than what we would have done if those heat pumps weren't installed. And this would mean that homes in the UK with heat pumps could have reduced emissions by 500,000 tonnes of CO2 per year in switching from gas boilers to heat pumps. This is just fantastic. So what else? We, we might see the continued growth in battery storage installations. MCS says that 4,200 were installed in October in the UK alone, and we're likely to see the 1.9 millionth PV system installed under MCS by the end of the year. 